Greetings, Calculus Scholars. Uh, welcome back to another week. Uh, so today I want to um, kind of make this differential equations part two. Uh, so in the first part of today, I want to kind of go through some tools with you on how to make those harder looking differential equation examples easier uh, for you. So I wanted to kind of go and look at some useful, uh, what I like to call algebra tools. So one of the most useful algebra tools I think you can have is uh, the power of a negative exponent. So what this means is if you have 1 over x to some type of exponent and you have something that looks kind of fractional, you can turn it into something that is not fractional by writing it as a negative exponent. So let's actually take a look at the example for homework question number four. We can uh, write this as x plus 3 to the negative 2. Uh, so what we effectively did here is we wrote this so that there wasn't a fraction on one side. And all that you would need to do is just move that dx to the other side. And just by doing that tool of algebra, we are able to turn this into a conventional uh, u-substitution type of integral. Another tool that uh, I think is kind of important, uh, and this is kind of blending the algebra and calculus in here, is that when you have stuff inside of parentheses, it's usually some type of like u-substitution I have, like, radical stuff. Um, if I have, you know, cosine of stuff. Or if it's, like, in the exponent, so, like, I have e to the stuff. Or natural log of stuff. Notice that I'm saying of. This means that there's probably some sort of U substitution going on. And the reason why this is is because we have a function inside of a function. So this actually helps us solve the rest of homework question number four, because if we're able to integrate on both sides, well, really the only tool that we need to successfully do, do this is know that this is a U substitution integral. So I'm going to write this as u equals x plus 3, and du would be equal to uh, dx. And lo and behold, we have the integral of dy. I mean, that's pretty easy. That's just y itself. And then uh, we're going to rewrite this as u to the negative 2 du. And this is really a pretty easy... Um, power rule integral. Remember, when we're in negative number land and you're adding 1 to that exponent, it's going to be negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 gets us to positive 1. So we're kind of like reverse engineering that antiderivative. And uh, we like to put a plus C in there as well. And don't forget that in the end, you need to be putting back in your U. And 
And there we have it. That is our final answer with the uh, exponent being to the negative one. And it's fine to uh, keep your answer in that form. Uh, you have done all the calculus right and have shown an awareness of the idea of solving a differential equation. So I'll say that, you know, to become an expert integral solver or differential equation solver, it's not always about the calculus, but it's also wisely using those tools of algebra. And it just takes skill and practice to kind of recognize when to use those tools. Uh, but what I'm hoping is that I'm kind of giving you some ideas of some patterns to look for um, as you kind of navigate through those harder U substitution examples and harder differential equation examples. Uh, thank you very much, and please tune in for one more thing related to differential equations today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.